We're always trying to take the pulse of the economy here on Mad Money, and there are a few better ways to do that than by talking to a paper company because paper is an incredibly cyclical business. Take Capstone Paper and Packaging, KS, a paper company that was formed back in 2005 as a Special Purpose Acquisition Corp, or SPAC. Since then, Capstone has made a series of very smart purchases, giving the company exposure to container board and corrugated packaging, unbleached craft paper, saturating craft paper, and unbleached folding carton board. Now, while Capstone missed Wall Street's estimates when it reported its latest quarter in late October, more recently, the company made some positive commentary about its corrugated products, their biggest business, at a Citigroup conference Earlier this month. Then yesterday, Capstone did something extremely bullish, initiating a regular quarterly dividend of 10 cents a share, which works out to 1.4% yield at these levels. You don't start paying a dividend in this business unless you believe the future is good and that payout could get even larger. Capstone has been talking about doing something with a master limited partnership. We're not sure what will happen there. So let's take a closer look with Roger Stone, the chairman and CEO of Capstone Paper and Packaging, who also happens to be a legend in the paper industry. A legend. Mr. Stone, welcome to Mad Money. Good to see you, sir. Have a seat. Thank you very much. Sir. Well, my late father sold stone corrugated pretty much all his life, and I always thought it was like Kleenex. Stone container is the way you think of liner board. You don't really even know the other guys. But I always knew that he was, when he was doing well, he was selling a lot of container. When he was doing not so well, he was selling a little. Right now, you're selling a lot, aren't you? Yes, we are. This is a good time for the business. Uh, it's it's a, an amazingly strong period given the you know the issues in the economy. Yeah. Now, one of the things that I always learned about container board is is that as soon as it gets good, usually a bunch of guys come out. And Andrea Tarbox, your terrific CFO, was saying that she taught you know you taught her that they were either going up or they were always going down, and guys were coming in underneath. But it doesn't seem like that price competition, which I'm so used to, is happening. Well, it's not, which I'm so used to as right. well. And, uh, uh, and there's been a lot of stability in pricing. And that's because supply and demand have been balanced. Uh, you know, I, my philosophy is if you can't sell it, you shouldn't make it. Uh, historically, the industry made it without selling it, right. built inventory, and then to move it created price competition but, and emergence. But how is it possible that an industry that had been undisciplined for so long finally got disciplined? Is it consolidation? Is it the cost of opening a new mill? Well, actually, it's both. Uh, clearly, the consolidation has been an enormous help. Right. Uh, uh, and the most aggressive players were essentially consolidated out. To build a craft paper mill today of any scale in size economic, it would cost a couple of billion dollars take about three years to build it, take about two years if you were lucky to get a permit. And so by the time you bring it in, you have no view as to what the economic value is or what the prices are. Right. Now, you didn't have to come back. I mean, you had just an unbelievable career. Why, why cap, cap stone? Why come back after all the money you've made for investors and yourself? Well, thank you. I, well, I came back because I really love the business. I have a passion for the business. Well, and I love to build things. And uh, uh, and I was when I was retired, I was looking into roll ups and then I got introduced to a special purpose acquisition right. company. And then I said, well, we're going to get back in the, the long view. You got that one very inexpensively. Uh, yes, but we did. What, people just were bearish at the time and didn't realize the prospects. Well, Longview was a company with great assets right. uh, that was. Uh, uh, Under management. Uh, 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 well, terribly. Overcapitalized and undermanaged. Okay, and uh, uh, nice people, and uh, uh, as a result, uh, uh, the it was poorly maintained. I think okay. my, my story on that is uh, when we, I, when I and my partner visited there several years before we right. bought it, uh, when people were trying to introduce us to get into right. that, it, it looked it was the. Worst looking paper mill I'd ever oh, seen right. in my life. Well, that's fair. It was safe, it was dirty, it was and so and so on. And Brookfield did an amazing job of, okay. of changing that. And when I visited the next time I said, Hey, this is Then you knew. Meantime, my old friend Richie Perry, a bunch of other guys buying your stock, betting on a mass limited partnership. I know you can't talk about that, or at least you're, you haven't, but there, it seems like when you put the dividend in, you recognize that it could be good for a long time, not just short term. Mm -hmm. Fair enough? Uh, well, we think the business is good for right. the long term. Uh, fair enough. The structure we're not, you know, we're, right. we're we like the structure we're in. We're still studying the MLP. Uh, it, it, it's an interesting kind of thing. We have not heard from the IRS 
Fair enough. And that's where we are. Well, I got I got Roger Stone on the show. I mean, I got to tell you, a legend in this business that I know from my late dad. It's Roger Stone, chairman, CEO of Capstone Paper and Packaging KS. Jeez, he knows this business better than anyone. May have money's back after the break.